Hi, didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm Olympian Molly Seidel, preparing for the New York City Marathon. Come join me. <laughs> Svalbard? Svalbard. <laughs> How isolated can we get? That'd be sick actually though. Oh, Svalbard would be really cool. We sick. can't get into Norway right now though. Yeah. Probably not the best time to go to. Well, no, but... No, let's go to Ushuaia. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah, they, they did it. Oh, my gosh. I think you guys are going to go really well. Like, you know, just like, it was not bad. Left it with a bill. my fueling during the marathon I use Morton um, I use the drink mix um, I actually really struggle taking gels during the race so what I will do um, I get the drink mix in the night before I mix up all my bottles so I combine a 320 mix and a 160 to kind of like a Frankenstein 240 and that gets me the every bottle that I take so my little like tall ones is about 20 grams of carbs in each bottle so like 50 grams of carbs an hour gets a little bit sciency that's probably the most sciency I get <laughs> with my racing Thing. but I found that like when you nail that down and like the strategy that works for you it makes all the difference in the world and you just feel like you have that extra gear to go to when you've been fueling correctly
Yeah. Right, right. Play from the back, play from the back, turn on We have 10 seconds, officially. To the start. I'm, I'm doing the starting gun. Here. Let's see. We got three, two, one, go. It's so cool running through the streets of New York City in the New York Marathon and just hearing your name. It's good for me, it's good for you guys. Yes. Like, she looks good since she was having the arm sleeves as well in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, she said she ditched her in arm sleeves earlier. I just wanted to keep um, Paris just like kind of in my like periphery at all points because I knew she was going to be the one to be making yeah. moves. Yeah. Yeah. Was there any talking out there or are you kind of just... The Kenyans were all talking amongst each other though. I got Wait, you sorry, a body armor also. Thank you. And could I just grab yeah. something? Yeah. Thank you for getting that. I appreciate it. Is this kit exactly what you usually wear, just a different color, or was this a new um, kit? No, Jose, like, oh, I took it off. Mm -hmm. Jose, like, made it specifically. It's got, like, a different material on the back. She said, I know the. Freddie, you want to run a marathon? <laughs> no. Like, Freddie's like, no, like, I have other cooler hobbies. <laughs> Like we, driving cars. We, right we, driving cars really fast. Everyone wants, everyone's like, where's Molly going? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Wherever the night takes Molly doesn't know where Molly's going. Let's just choose a random bar. Yeah. And just exactly. the place. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Yeah. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling good. Like, I, like, my body was trashed after that race. Like New York is a hard course, um, much more so than like London or the Olympics. I think my body feels more, most closely to how I felt after the trials. Just as like you feel that deep like soreness and muscle damage in your legs from those downhills. Um, but it's just this sense of like, that race was so much more than I expected it to be. And like, even though like, even though before the race, like I told John, I was like, I want to go for a podium spot. I realistically didn't know what that was going to be. I didn't know if I was going to blow up late in the race. And just being able to go through everything we went through in this build. And like, it was like, this was truly one of the most challenging marathon builds I've ever had to do mentally and physically. Just getting through the amount of pain, the like demotivation after the Olympics, dealing with the pressures that now come from being an Olympic medalist and the eyes on you. I think being able to get through all that and still be able to go out and race in a way that feels very genuine and authentic to me and to be able to come away from it with as great of a result as we did. I think that like, it just gets me so excited for being like, hey, like it doesn't have to be perfect going into these things, but if you put your effort out there and it's like, if you pour everything you have into this, it's like, you'll find a way. And I think that was what was exciting. And that's why I'm coming away from this just being like, holy shit, like we did that.